the ability to actually see cancer with PET imaging is a complete revolution in the field of medicine. I'm gonna get you started here, okay? okay. C11 choline is an agent that you inject into the vein. It gets eaten up very quickly by prostate cancer. When the prostate cancer cells take up the choline, they emit a positron, which is detected by an imaging machine. And I think the most amazing thing is basically everything that we see constitutes the first time humans have ever seen cancer of any form inside the body with such detail. And initially, we were the uh, single institution that won the approval for imaging patients with prostate cancer using C11 choline. My name is John Sullivan. Uh, we live in Ocala, Florida. I am a prostate cancer survivor. The prostate cancer had returned after 11 years. We had a, a friend in the medical profession who said, you guys need to get up to the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville. So we made the appointment to see Dr. Tan and sat down and talked it all through with him. We have about uh, 230,000 patients uh, with prostate cancer each year. Majority of them will be cured. However, 20% of those patients will have recurrences. So with the choline PET scan that we use in patients with prostate cancer, we will detect microscopic disease or small metastatic disease. Based on our calculations, our C11 choline can see cancer in the body seven years before any other form of imaging. It pinpointed the spot in the pelvic area. It highlighted it. And in that situation, it creates a unique opportunity to potentially cure patients with small areas of metastasis. And it's basically on the edge of science fiction the cyclotron is a vehicle or an instrument that can lead to discoveries of new molecules we can use to image different types of cancer. With a gentleman like Mr. Sullivan, he's evaluated on the East Coast Mail Clinic, Florida. The physicians immediately identify that he has a situation that could benefit from evaluation in Mayo Clinic Rochester. Winston Tan sends the patient to me reflexively. I do my evaluation, I send the patient back to Winston Tan reflexively. I think that that kind of exchange is not feasible in any other institution in the United States. So for John, this was a gift. Now we can help him understand his disease better. They brought up the cryoablation technique. So we made the choice to have that done and it was successful. And choline. Definitely having been able to take advantage of what's available in Rochester, Minnesota, and here in Jacksonville, Florida, has worked to our benefit, clearly. So how are you doing today? I'm doing really, really well. Yeah. yeah. Many patients cannot travel because traveling is a hardship. So obviously having uh, a cyclotron in Florida, it's going to greatly facilitate the care of these patients. The goal here in conjunction with Rochester is besides the choline is to invent or basically discover new molecules that are better not just for prostate cancer but for many other cancers. I have no doubt that uh, Dr. Tan and I will be shaking hands on my uh, 80th birthday. <laughs> if there's anything that can be done relative to this prostate cancer to help me meet that goal, I know Dr. Tan and the Mayo Clinic here in Jacksonville will provide that to me, no doubt in my mind.